Good morning everybody. It is Monday the 15th of June and we meet again to read God's Word together. Over the last while we've been reading together and we've read through the Gospel of Luke and we've also read through the book of Acts in the New Testament. So this time we're going to go towards the Old Testament um, and we're going to start and read through the book of Psalms. Uh, Psalms are a collection of prayers that were also used as songs sometimes in the Old Testament. They were used very much in and around the temple and the Psalms that we have in our Bible are like a snapshot in time of the Psalms um, as they were. They were used in different ways, say prayers and hymns. Uh, maybe if you'd gone into the temple to pray and you didn't know quite how to pray or what to pray for, one of the priests would have given you a Psalm and maybe altered it slightly. Um, as, a, as a means to help you to pray and encourage you. Um, but as you read the Psalms, they are very much the outpouring of the heart of the person who writes them. It maybe gives you a little bit of insight into what was going on at the time. Maybe it's a little bit of insight into their wisdom, their thinking. Um, but the Psalms can be very different at times. Um, at, at times we, we sort of look at them and how they're written. Uh, there's there's a real sense of jet vengeance and justice in the Psalms. It's it's a different sort of way than what we think of in terms of whenever God says, Lo Jesus says, love your neighbour as yourself. Uh, the, the people of the Old Testament time had a, an idea of uh, punishment nearly as retribution. So as we read it, we have to read it through the lens of that time. But this morning, let's start off with Psalm 1. Um, a lovely Psalm. Um, which can teach us an awful lot. Again, it can be difficult sometimes to take it all in, to understand it, but let's read it first of all together. Psalm 1. Oh, the joys who, of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or stand around with sinners, or join in with mockers. But they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. They are like trees planted along the river bank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves neither, neither wither, and they prosper in all they do. But not the wicked. They are like worthless chaff scattered by the wind. They will be condemned at the time of judgment. Sinners have no place among the godly. For the Lord watches over the path of the godly, but the path of the wicked leads to destruction. Amen. Fairly short, Sam. But um, an important psalm to start with. There's that sense that we are described as trees if we are followers of God. Trees that have been planted along the riverbank. Not trees that have grown there accidentally. Um, if you're driving through the countryside you can quite often see where a river is because you'll see a line of trees because of how trees as seeds fall um, will naturally grow close to water. But these trees have been planted beside somewhere where they will uh, receive nourishment and enrichment. Somewhere which will help their fruit to grow and their leaves to grow and keep them healthy. And that's like us. God puts us in specific places whenever we follow him. Uh, and he gives us his words. He gives us others to walk with us. Uh, to give us what we need. We need to put down roots to take that in. Um, this is like a tree does, if we don't put down roots, we don't take in the nourishment. If we don't read God's word, we don't understand it. Uh, but this psalm also, it talks about future times. It talks about the wicked. And it says they will be condemned at the time of judgment. It talks about end times. Something which is not very popular. Uh, as we think about judgment, as we think about being punished for wrongdoing. Uh, we tend to live in an age which... Um, Everyone thinks, oh, we'll be okay in the end. God loves us all. But the Bible gives us many warnings to say that if we don't follow him, we will pay the price for that in the end. And this psalm starts off with that sort of wisdom, telling us uh, about who we should take advice from, who we should follow, that we should follow God. And that if we don't, there is a price, price to pay. Psalm is packed full of wisdom, but then that's the psalms. They are packed full of human emotion, of suffering, of realising that we have done wrong, of asking for forgiveness, 
But ultimately, at the end of it, the Psalms recognise who God is. That he is the one who made us, who cares for us and who loves us. So the Psalms are a book of amazing prayers. So over this next while, um, let's read through the book of Psalms morning by morning. Sometimes we may not get through a full psalm, like if it's long, think particularly of Psalm 119. Maybe other days we'll read a couple of psalms together because they are very short. That's okay. But let's just take it Monday to Friday, day by day, and let's read God's word together. But for now, let's pause. Let's pray together. Father, thank you again for this day. Thank you again for your blessing upon us as we wake up as we open the blinds, as we look out to see the world that is around us, as we hear the birds singing, as we feel the heat of sun on our faces. Lord, you are a great, big, wonderful God, and we thank you for that. Thank you again for your word and for all it teaches us. And we thank you for the Psalms, these, these prayers written by people long ago, which still talk to us today. Help us over this next while, Father, as we read the Psalms together, to be able to understand them, to be able to be, take something in from each psalm each day, to be challenged, to be encouraged, to be brought closer to you. Lord, that we may know you more and know more about what it means to follow you and to live for you. So Father, thank you. Continue with us this day, we pray. And Lord, for those who are, are back to work again now, for those for whom maybe furlough has ended um, and things are changing, just please keep them safe today. Lord, it's a strange day still, and as we go out and about, as, those, as people venture out from home, keep us safe, help us to be considerate and thoughtful for others. Um, but Lord, just help us in everything to be able to show your love, your concern for um, all people around this world. So Lord, thank you, and continue with us now, we pray, in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks folks for joining with me this morning. Um, I trust that today you would know God's blessing again. And please stay safe, stay well, um, and see you again tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye.